We Irish have gone pet mad. We've scoured the nation and over the course of this series we're going to look at the sometimes weird and always wonderful world of our people and their pets. Most cat owners see kitty litter as the unfortunate downside of owning a cat. But products are now starting to pop up that promise to help you toilet train your cat. We've asked four cat ladies to test one which is particularly popular. Our first cat lady is nightclub owner Carmen Lovely from Mullingar. Every morning I kind of um, so you skip out and then once a week then clean out the whole thing and wash it out and refill it and whatever. So with the four of them, because there's two trays, so with the four of them, it's probably like 10 euro a week we nearly spend on, on cat litter actually, when you think about it that way. <laughs> so this would be great. I presume that's the first couple of weeks to get them used to it on the ground, isn't that? That's and then it goes onto the toilet then. So then they have to jump up and use this. Then this comes out. And the smaller one goes in for another couple of weeks, I think. And then eventually this one. And they still have a little bit of cat litter so they can still dig a little bit. So then eventually they'll be hopping up here and <laughs> no more cat litter and very clever cats. But will Carmen's cats be hopping up onto the toilet or hopping mad? I think it'll work really well. I think they're really clever, intelligent cats and I think they'll definitely take to it. It'll be brilliant when they do. <laughs> no more cat litter. It'll be great. In Clawerhead, County Louth, stage manager Anne Kyle hopes there will be no drama involved in training her cats to use the loo. I've kept them prisoner inside today. They go out. Hi! That's Malin. He's the boy. And there's Juno on the table. She's his mother. This is where the litter tray currently lives, under the stairs. And we use, as I said, the, the wood pellet litter. So I normally um, pick the chunky bits out as and when they appear. And then I would clean it out once a week, generally. But uh, I saw the litter quitter on the internet a few years ago. And I was more curious than actually going to, to buying it or anything like that. But I just thought, I wonder if it actually works. Check out my website for lots of fun stuff. Wow. <laughs> Okay, right, okay. Well, it's worth a try. Meanwhile, in sunny Lucan, jet setter Roisin Mills is hoping that Litter Quitter will help prepare her cats for independent living. My two cats, otherwise known as Mr. and Mrs. Mills, because they are married, they currently use a white crystal litter, which is great because it does soak up everything. So my viewpoint is that I would like to try this because I travel once a month and they have dry food already. So that part is done and they have their water fountains, which means that they're constantly watered. So if I can get them to start using this, then I can put in a sensor flushing system and then they'll be perfectly independent. So what have we got? DVD that I can show to the cats so they know what's going on. We get to put it on, try them on the toilet. Introduce them to it. Great. <laughs> it's going to be very exciting. I think they're old enough and big enough now to be able to reach the toilet without worrying about it or anything like that. So um, I'd love them to be really clever and uh, get it done in two weeks. But um, fingers crossed. And finally in leash, Dr Zavila Yusakacha is hoping her hairless sphinx cats are ready to do more than walk like an Egyptian. So we are trying to teach our cats to use human toilet. The aim is to do that within four weeks. We'll see how we get on. So every week you're supposed to take one ring out of this and at the end of a month that there would be no litter at all and the cats would be going to the toilet by themselves. I hope they will be. I can tell already which ones will be using it which ones will not be interested in using it so i think it is fairly hygienic and convenient there will be no need for buying litter again hopefully in the coming weeks we will be following the cats through the ups and downs of toilet training and finding out how they get on 
Last time on Pet Island, we featured some Irish cat ladies who are training their cats to use the toilet. They have agreed to trial a new product called Litter Quitter, which claims to be able to teach your cat to sit on more than your lap. Amongst them is Carmen Lovely from Mullingar, whose cats are literally fighting over who gets into the loo first. Reggie was the one I was worried about because of Reggie's three legs. And Reggie's just, he's, he's the best one on it. He's like straight in in the mornings, he's brilliant. So he doesn't seem to have any issues now, but hopefully when we start reducing the size of it or whatever, balance-wise, <laughs> it doesn't start to affect him, so hopefully. I wasn't doing it to any kind of time frame or specification or anything like that, it was just that we were away for the first few weeks, so we just left it on the ground. And they were fine with that, and then when we came home, we decided to just put it up. And then because they were actually going so well with it, just up on the toilet, I decided, oh, sure, we may as well just try the second phase. So we just tried that, and they're actually just taken to it. So I don't think it's even going to take as long as it should take. I think, well, maybe just a very intelligent cats. <laughs> In Lucan, however, Roisin Mills and her cats have been having less success. They're getting on well. They're using it. Um, I am a bit worried and concerned that they're, you know, how the next stage will go on after that. So I hear that the inventor is coming to town. So I'm going to go and ask her for some tips on do's and don'ts and what I can do to help because I really want them to because it would be nice to have a litter-free toilet downstairs because I always end up apologising to my guests. So if I can get them to do it this time, it would be really great. <laughs> Australian Jo Lappage is the inventor of the so-called litter quitter. This week she is in Ireland to promote the product. We still fill it with litter, the cat hops up, but he's forced forward, so he goes into the hole and the water covers the odour. Why do people find the, the concept of sharing a toilet so abhorrent? Well, that's usually an objection I hear from people that don't own cats. People that do own cats think it's far more hygienic than sharing a, a, your home with an open sewer that is a litter tray. How are you finding it, the training? Of, did they accept, accept the litter tray? They are, they are accepting it, yeah, but um, I'm, actually, I'm actually going to get a second one so that I can cover both toilets off because at the moment I have a litter tray. So they okay. are reverting to the litter tray, so they're peeing in the litter quitter. Oh, and so did you say you've got the litter quitter downstairs, yeah. but you've got the litter tray upstairs? upstairs yeah. Oh, that, that's like trying to teach a, a toddler to be toilet trained without taking the nappy off. It's true. So you need to get rid of the litter box. To Roisin's surprise, Jo suggests going back to her house to look at her litter tray. They're forward, the old Aussies. If it was my old cat, Tristan, we'd have absolutely no problem whatsoever, because Tristan was... Well, he was definitely human. He thought he was human. Constantly. Mm. Um, what happened? Uh, he died of uh, stomach cancer out in Singapore. He waited for 18 months after my engagement broke up to make sure that I was okay. And then he literally lost three pounds in the space of a week. And I was looking at him going, this is not good. Mm. And uh, I'll show you one of the photos. I had got a photographer friend of mine to photograph us two hours before I put him to sleep because I had been promising him since he was a kitten that we would get photos done together. Welcome to my humble abode. Thank oh. you very much. Um, and what I'm going to do is first I'm going to put the new litter into that one down there. Right. And then we'll sort out the one upstairs. I'll show you what the situation is because um, okay. I do want to get them working. Let me show you. I'll show you this downstairs one. All right. As you can see. Right. It's it looks in good. There. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's a nice. Perfect. It's a nice room for them. Yeah. Um, it's out Quite of the way. Quite spacious. And yeah. And this yeah. is where their old litter was. So it's no big, massive change for them. It's Perfect. it's a, a comfort thing. Um, and I actually recently moved the litter upstairs from mm -hmm. the wet room that I have into where the toilet is for the upstairs, so they get used to it there. Right. All she needs to do is take that litter tray that she's got upstairs and just get rid of it. Put it away. Empty the litter out of it and just put it away. Throw it in the garbage bin because she won't be needing it again. Time will tell if Roisin's cats can get their heads around the litter quitter. But if they do, they will have one very happy mummy. I'll be very proud. I'll give them little medals to go around their neck. And I'll have a little thing on the door saying, this is a litter-free house. 